Hello, my name is Trevor DeVries. I'm an associate professor with the University of Guelph in Canada, studying dairy cattle behavior, nutrition, and welfare. Feeding behavior is very important for ruminants because uh, in addition to the nutrients that ruminants consume in the diet that's provided to them, uh, feeding behavior can affect how and when those nutrients make it to the rumen and that in turn can impact how that rumen functions. So we know that an animal that consumes her feed very quickly uh, is going to experience a very quick fermentation of the byproducts of that feed which can be associated with a very quick drop in the rumen pH uh, which may lead to within day depressions in rumen pH which may affect fiber digestibility, risk of acidosis and, and related problems. Alternatively, if animals consume their feed very slowly, they have very, um, very frequent meals that are smaller, that creates a much more steady input of nutrients into the rumen of the animal, which is much more conducive to an efficient fermentation process uh, related to better or more efficient fiber digestion and improved production on the animal. Monitoring feeding behavior is important as it allows us to judge how the uh, nutrition of the animal and the nutritional management is impacting that feeding behavior of that animal, which uh, in turn, as mentioned, uh, is important from a digestive standpoint of that animal. The feeding behavior of the animal can also be monitored to detect how that animal is actually selecting her feed as well. As we know, diet selection can um, impact how the animal performs. In, in certain circumstances, animals will select a diet that's not balanced for her uh, nutrient requirements. Uh, but in other circumstances, particularly when an animal's not feeling well, she might actually change her diet selection such that she tries to remedy herself. In the case of ruminants, we often see them selecting for fiber, which might actually improve her rumen condition when she's not experiencing or when she's experiencing low rumen pH conditions and not feeling well. So there's a variety of factors that influence the feeding behavior of ruminants. Uh, largely that's influenced by the dietary com composition of the feed that the ruminants are consuming. So uh, feeding high fibrous feeds is going to uh, create a much more uh, consistent, stable intake pattern, uh, conducive to slow rate of intake, larger meals, longer meals. Uh, alternatively, if we've moved to more concentrated feeds, that can stimulate much quicker rates of intake, uh, much more um, uh, smaller or larger meals, sorry, that are, that are consumed at a, at a faster rate, which again uh, are not as good from a, from a rumen digestion standpoint. Uh, in addition to the actual feed itself, we know that we can modulate that feeding behavior through changes in the feeding management of those animals. So uh, making sure that animals have feed available to them at all times, having uh, stimulation to access feed, such as providing feed more frequently to them, and then finally making sure that they have good access to that feed uh, by providing an environment that they don't have to compete for access to their feed, such as making sure there's sufficient space available to the animal that when she goes to the feeding area to feed, that there's that space available for that animal to gain access to their feed and uh, consume their feed in a manner that is good for them.